Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage by Coastal! Sorry, it's not, uh, sorry, there's not nicer stuff. I just, I almost entirely eat ramen now. No, it's fine. I, I, I like it. It's like, I feel like I'm at my own house. Yeah. If I didn't care. <laughs> wow. <laughs> you, know, you know how passive aggressive that sounds, right? I'm sorry, um, I always get off the wrong foot because people think that my honest opinions about things are passive aggressive, and I actually do feel comfort right now. Okay. But what the, the, the if I didn't care part is what I was concerned about. Yeah, like if I didn't take so much stock in what others thought. Like if I didn't like live my life based on other people's expectations of me, I would live like this, and I would be happy. <laughs> Sorry, Hayden, I totally missed you on this. <laughs> I'm used to it, it's fine. <laughs> so, uh, do you use couch surfing a lot? <laughs> I mean, who wants to pay for a house in Barcelona? No. I can't, right? I so I couch surf. I didn't want to either, but I have to, because otherwise I couldn't stay here. <laughs> I just thought that. Ooh, we got off on the wrong foot. Oh! That was aggressive. And I, <laughs> I have this thing where I just assume no one likes me, and so I make it true. Jerry, no, what are you talking about? I'm like a self fulfilling prophecy. Who hurt guy. you? <laughs> Who hurt you? All right, let's get into it. What's your name? It's funny you should ask. I moved here in uh, 2003 because uh, the love of my life, I was right out of college. She left me for a guy who paints. And I a was like, painter. Yeah, I was like, I'm going to go to Barcelona and I'm going to get artistic. Mm. On the echelon of artistry, painter is second only to like, I, I make miniatures for board games. You think, <laughs> you think miniatures for board games is the only art better than painting? You said second only to. I'm sorry, I'm not sure I understand. <laughs> oh, this happens all the time. I'm sorry. When I say true things, I do think that. I do think that painting is like a very noble pursuit, yeah. and that miniature painting is the so only too. pursuit to hire. <laughs> uh, We're never going to make it to La Sagrada Familia like this. You're going to be fine. Look at, look at all these orcs. Look at all these little knights. Look at the little archers. These archers have you fletched the arrows by hand. That's real feathers. Most people don't notice when I fletch them by hand. They just think it's like store bought. And I'm like, ah, what? You can't buy craftsmanship like that at the store. You can't buy craftsmanship like that anywhere. That's love. Yeah. That is love. So don't throw yourself against the wall in a tantrum. I'm sorry, Warhammer's Convention, get this out of me. <laughs> and the worlds are here in Barcelona, and I just. I was in a zone when I got in, and I was thrown off because I thought you hated me, and now I'm. You are the best miniature painter I have ever met. A lot of people sleep on this couch. I've had a lot of people come through here, and this is incredible artwork. This is like a tiny world. I could get lost in this, okay? I could tell stories with this. I could never leave. And you're too good to let a painter's folly hurt you. <laughs> okay, made it now. Hey, your eyes look like the steely blue waters of the Adriatic Sea. <laughs> when you talk, the sound of your voice is like, the resonance of of a bass drum echoing out of a conch shell. <laughs> when you tell me truths, it is like they were false before, and you made them truth with your sheer force of will. <laughs> Until you slept on my couch, it was just a couch, but now it's a dream ship. <laughs> I want to get on a boat with you, and I want to take us where the wind will. What are we fucking waiting for? I don't know. <laughs> I have an old catamaran. It's been in my family for years. We can fly back. I've got several lengths of canvas. <laughs> that we could just put over the middle and make it be our nest. <laughs> <laughs>
I've made a lot of things in my life, but I've never made something with someone I felt this way about. I'm tired of breaking things when I touch them. <laughs> <laughs> we got off on a weird foot. <laughs> <laughs> Barcelona does this to Wow, me. it's the salted meats. Yeah. <laughs> everywhere. They sleep for four hours in the middle of the day, they get up and they just eat the meats are hanging everywhere. Why do you think I eat so much ramen? If I go out there, it'll change yeah, me even that's more. That's super weird, by the way. What? We are in Barcelona. It's, it's the culinary capital of the known world. Right. And you are eating freeze-dried noodles. Oh, God. That time it was passive-aggressive. That time it was. <laughs> I just surprised myself. It was a little hurtful. <laughs> oh. But you don't understand, though. <laughs> the thing I have to do to center myself. <laughs> ramen is it's like an ancient Japanese tradition. Oh, I didn't realize that when you said you made ramen that you made it in the ancient Japanese tradition. No, that's not what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> you use top ramen out of a package? Yeah. I that's not the ancient Japanese tradition. But think about that. It's an ancient tradition that's been packaged in a way that anyone can enjoy. It's something magical that's been crammed into a tiny brick so any of us can achieve it. It's real history that you can reach out and touch. I just went somewhere. Yeah, I got weird. I, I got just weird. went somewhere. I was in a dynasty of a bygone era. I was wearing a kimono. <laughs> Armies were... Open it. Smell it. Here's a trick. <laughs> I do that. You don't even have to put it in the water. Right. <laughs> <laughs> it is salty. It is a salty treat. <laughs> between that and the between that and the ham shanks that we've been shaving. Yeah. Oh, I'm gonna get a boil while during this trip. I know it. You gotta stay hydrated. I am boil prone. <laughs> Tokugawa closed off all of the ports and protected Japanese culture from American and English encroachment. It wouldn't be the place it is if you hadn't done that. So I board myself up in here. Yeah, there's no culture in here. You are right. You have boarded yourself up from any outside influence, but the miniatures and that couch that you give up to would world-weary travelers. I Which see. is to say, you get a lot of influence through that. I, I experienced the world one person at a time. Oh, that's beautiful. <laughs> This place is great. Oh, yeah? Wow! Meet Tyrone? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, the door is just open. Yeah. If I, I, I mean, it's weird. I hate the moment when you go to a door and you open it and you have to meet someone in this forced place. <laughs> yeah, I just call that opening a door. What other, like, what's the door, what's the door even that? I'm gonna be honest, we're gonna close it tonight, right? Like when I sleep? Yeah, but I knew you were coming. And if I had to go to it and meet you there, I would have been thinking about it all day. But instead, here you are, you're in my kitchen, and it happened organically. <laughs> <sighs> what brings you to Barcelona? <laughs> what brings anyone anywhere? <laughs> Got a lunch? Are you here for the clam festival? <laughs> 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 no. I to say I'm not. You should, you should check it out, it's supposed to be great. Barcelona for the clams. <laughs> no. Maybe it's oysters. It's not oysters. It's a shellfish. <laughs> Scouts. I, mean, I was really hoping, like, like, usually when I do these things, like, the people that host me are like, they're like a guide, and they can kind of take me around, and I just, like, I'm pretty independently wealthy, so I do this to, like, meet people, and then kind of, well, you're weird. <laughs> you're weird, and you're already off putting. Yeah. yeah. Do you want some ramen or um, yeah. Yeah. do you want a, a paella? I was thinking paella. Squidding paella. I read this. You can yeah. see it from my upstairs. The ramen? No, the paella. <laughs> Sometimes I pull the blinds open and I just look out. I'm gonna go. <laughs> This, been this nice. was a mistake. <laughs> I hope you find your happy. Check out the Oyster Festival. I... <laughs> the 
walls are 350 years old. Someone's died here. Shh. <laughs> oh. Do you want an orangina? Hold on, I okay. left my sage in the bag in the car. Okay. <laughs> it's nice. Oh. I couldn't speak. You didn't hear we were being listened to? Um, I mean, I've always felt something about this place. Like, sometimes in the middle of the night, I wake up, and it's like uh, uh, waking up at a sad dance club. Yeah. <laughs> I couldn't piece the door. Took his life in this room. Right here. There were still couldn't piece the doors 350 years ago. That's why he took his life. He's <laughs> <Too> lonely. <laughs> the whole family can enjoy. <laughs> I like the bulbous bottom of this bottle. <laughs> I like it nice. because it feels nice in my hand and also the alliteration of saying it. Oh, bulbous bottle. Yeah. It's no way. Huh. Anyway. Are you like a ghost hunter? No, I'm an enthusiast. Okay. <laughs> my name is Esmeralda. <laughs> and you are? Tucker. Oh. <laughs> Tucker, you have the alabaster skin of someone who is not from this town. That's true. I don't believe much. What, what pray tell, found you to this place in the Mediterranean? Do you mean took me to? I say things strangely to put people <laughs> off. It's working. <laughs> Do you know that I was once Joan of Arc? <laughs> I've always wondered what it felt like to be burned alive. <laughs> not great. <laughs> Honestly, Tucker, not great. <laughs> From Joan of Arc, I was put into the into a butterfly's mind. From the butterfly, whence it left this mortal coil, I was put into a tiny uh, golfer. <laughs> of good mind and true. And when he died... The way you say these things, it's like only career matters to you. <laughs> if one doesn't have a pursuit, what does one have? What do you do? What, say, is your trade? I'm trying to very slowly become poetic. <laughs> you were doing pretty good there. I think, I mean, it's been 12 years. I think mm -hmm. there is a destiny that you will fulfill. Yeah? Yes. Esmeralda, do butterflies have sentience? No, it was a strange time. <laughs> <laughs> lots of, uh, lots of pollinating. And do you know they have sex in midair? That was a fun one. That's <laughs> <laughs> But when I jump to the golfer, yes, sentience returns. Sometimes I wonder if astronauts fuck. They would have to. I mean, in space. I mean, obviously, they fuck. Ooh. <laughs> I'm thinking about it right now. <laughs> Seems like you've had really good what luck. What if I were an astronaut? Would I have sex? Yes. Uh, <laughs> I decided that I would. <laughs> it seems to me like you've had extraordinarily good luck. Like, if, you're, if you can end up in a butterfly, that means you can end up in basically any insect, right? Yes. There's millions of times more insects than humans. Every life I've encountered, I've saved the life of a child. <laughs> Help! Fucking move! <laughs> he was near a volcano. Yarn. 
Mm. You want to look at my miniatures? <laughs> I was going to I was going to see, wait to see how long it took you to address them. Mm, yeah, it's usually a couple white, minutes. White of Italian. Yeah. Someone really close to me made all of those, and then he left. <laughs> Sometimes I form little replicas of real battles. All right. I'm going to be honest, that took the conversation right down. It really was going so well. I know, and then you had to bring up the weirdness. Oh. I'm going to go. Oh. Yes, I must take my next bowl. What? Have you, have you saved a life yet? <laughs> I think I've saved yours. <laughs> Taking an awfully big gamble, if we're else. Taking the rest of this orange juice. Watch out for the threshold. Ooh, thank you. <laughs> it always surprises me that everybody is just willing to walk in. The door's <laughs> open. <laughs> surprises you? I feel like if it was me, I would be. It's going in for a handshake, friend. I'm Cliff. I thought you were a bear. <laughs> <laughs> there was a real, like, salmon catching power in that. <laughs> Thank you. I am a fisherman by trade. Oh, cool. So I suppose I have caught a salmon or two. Million. Not that many. <laughs> <laughs> Not that many. I knew we were overfishing, but that would have been crazy. Right, that would, that would make me, like, the worst person to a salmon. Like, they teach their salmon kids. Hitler. Oh. <laughs> hey, friend, we just met. Uh, <laughs> probably not a great idea just to go around calling the H word people. <laughs> Would it surprise you to know that the last three people who tried to stay here didn't end up staying here? It absolutely wouldn't. If you called Hitler within like a minute of them entering your abode, I'm just a fisherman, right? My trade, okay. stocking trade is fish. And you I caught don't... lots of kinds of fish, so it's probably more. No, than just salmon. Just salmon? I'm not some kind of weirdo that just goes around killing fish for fun. I you don't want to sample the delights of the ocean? But why would I? I don't when know. a salmon is the most perfect you fish. You ever caught an octopus? <sighs> I bet that would be harder. Sure it would, but not. where am I finding a freshwater octopus? <laughs> I don't know that they exist. They might. <laughs> and I'm do. fully willing to believe that they do. So if anyone is listening, don't correct me later. <laughs> <laughs> Every wall's got ears in here. Right. <laughs> These walls are 350 years old. Oh, a conquistador killed himself here. <laughs> How do you know that? That's bullshit. There were no conquistadors 300 years ago. A woman with burning sage told me. <laughs> Sounds like a tale. Shh. Oh, it was a yarn. Damn it, Esmeralda. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you talking to right now? Not like, not like, you just said things you looked to the off sky. in the distance. When, you made it seem like it was normal and okay. Where's the couch? <laughs> I call it the dream show. <laughs> What's that, flannel? Yeah, it's made with old flannel shirts. What kind of weird ass upholster did you go to to flannel up a couch? I did that. In Barcelona, no less. I you? did that. I'm trying to find my artistic side. I think you found it. Making people feel weird when they walk in. That's an art <laughs> song. Yeah, you sure. think I can go back? You think she'll love me now? Who are we talking about? Oh, my ex, Tiffany. Oh, Christ. oh I'm sorry. No, it's fine. Just didn't know we were didn't know we were on that level. We could talk about. It. You're gonna sleep on my couch. I feel like we should get real. I was hurt. Yeah. Yeah. What happened? Fishing boat crashed <laughs> into a pier. Oh no. Yes. Were people on it? Yes, my wife was. Oh no. Oh. No. Oh. <laughs> no, we called me Hitler like two minutes ago. <laughs> Just, just commiserate with me. It sucks. Connect with me on a level that we both losing can... the person you care about is the worst feeling. It does. What happened to yours? She left me for a painter. Oh, that happens. What? Painters <laughs> <laughs> are like the best artists. You can't, you can't deem my pain less than your pain. I have. You, I've done so. You're a jerk. Oh. Yeah. Well, I demand satisfaction. You want to duel me? I'm just gonna Is no, that just, what people say before they duel? Not anymore. I don't know. I've been in Barcelona for 12 what are you, years. Aaron Burr? 
Are you? Ha no. I was thinking more like with swords, but it's not a duel. It's a sword it's fight. It's way more artistic. Bro. I'll sword fight you right now. Yeah. Yeah. You have swords. Yeah. What the hell? Where'd those come from? <laughs> <laughs> I bought them at a flea market. You don't get two. I'm giving you one. Oh, all right. <laughs> 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 